Hello my friends, welcome back. This is Force with some more Hearthstone. Today we will be doing the gameplay video for the Shockadin deck. We're playing against another Paladin. Uh, very interested. I haven't, since I've been trying this deck, I haven't played other Paladins. So I'm not sure if we're seeing a lot of variations of this deck on the ladder right now. Uh, I think either way though, I will hold on to the equality. If he's playing late game, equality will be good. If he's playing this version, uh, well, I guess equality doesn't help me out so much, but let's just hope that he's playing sort of a late game style. Let's, we're gonna open up here with the Leper no. Hoping to get at least four damage off of it. The only thing that will really likely offset this is if he pulls out an Elven Archer right here. See if he has it. Does he have it? He can, of course, also coin into a two drop. Uh, so I guess he could coin into a two drop charge minion. Oh, well, here's a coin. Let's see what the two drop is going to be. It is going to be a youthful brewmaster. Very interesting. I actually, I think I'm going to ignore that and just go for his face. Yep. We're going to ignore that and go for his face. So a lot of times we do want to focus on the opponent's face in this deck. Uh, the only exception is really if you are playing against a similar style aggro deck, but I don't believe that that's what we're playing against here, so that's why I'm happy to push through that extra damage. You see, he, he took care of it, we got the, that extra damage off of it, and he himself, uh, he himself eliminated the creature, so that basically gave us an extra two damage. Uh, instead of having attacked into it last turn. Okay, right now we're gonna go with this as well as this. We do, of course, have to be concerned about the potential of a Consecrate. There's a very decent chance that he will have a turn four Consecrate. But we still don't mind dumping our hand because we're still trying We're trying to rush him down. That's the goal here, that's the goal. Uh, you know, I think... Do I hold on to it or do I do it now? That's the question. Boy. Let's do it now, okay? I'm gonna do it now. Kill that. Why am I doing it now? Because I have Divine Favor and I'm probably drawn to the other one come the late game in which we, we really need to worry about getting rid of those bigger threats. Uh, this way we stopped him from being able to attack into and get a free kill of two creatures, basically getting a two for one. And if he doesn't have a Consecrate right now, we're pretty good. All right, so he's a true silver champion. He'll be getting rid of one of our minions with that. Still taking the two damage. That is offset by the heal of the champion. Next turn, we will likely be playing a card and then playing Divine Favor, depending on the... Ooh, no, we can't be doing that. I guess I could just Divine Favor right now for a couple. It's actually going to give me three cards. Let's see what we get here. This Iron Beak Owl, that'll be good in this matchup. We'll hold on to the Archer. We'll hit him for two. Do our Hero Power pass the turn. Two Avenging Wraths, one of which we can play next turn. Oh, boy. Let's see here. So let's see, this come, start, as we start to move into these later turns, things start to get a little bit scarier because he can play those bigger threats. Nothing else for this turn from him though. Do we want to do the Avenging Wrath right now? I kind of think we do. It's going to give us uh, a likely kill of that creature plus four damage to his face. Okay, let's just go like this. I think normally we're going first phase and not trading, but given, you know, a 4-1, <laughs> we have a 1-1, one, one. it's fair to take that out. And that also would have given him spell power if he was going to play any spells, like his own Avenging Wrath this turn uh, would have given him an extra damage off of that, which isn't ideal for us. See what he's got going on here? Are you doing uh, taunt? Yes, you are. Yes, he is. Defender of Argus. There we go. All right. Uh, throw our second Avenging Wrath. Uh, we could do that. I don't know, though. I don't know that I really want to do that. That's the thing. Let me think. You know what? We're going to do it. Okay. So, here's what I'm thinking. Clear the taunt. We could have also, obviously, Iron Peak Owl, right? We could have also Iron Beak Owl. However, I'm more concerned about his big taunts like Tyrion coming up. That's 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 a big that's a major concern. Oh, this is interesting. He also has Elven Archer. I'm very intrigued by the deck list that he's running. 
reporting for duty. Very, very intrigued. We're going to be able to double Wolf Rider right now for six to the face. Plus Elf Leper, no. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna throw down that leper now. It'll be a guaranteed two damage to his face. So we can get rid of these. He can go this, 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 or he could just throw down. A, if he has a consecrate right now, that'd be perfect for him. He'll still take that two damage Put unless he can silence us the first. There's the Tyrion. All right, this is what we're sa this is what we saved here. This is what we saved Iron Beak Owl for. This is precisely the type of thing we saved Iron Beak Owl for. So there's this two to the face. He's down to two. See what we get. There's an equality. Not really what we want. Let's silence that. Let's throw down a divine favor. Let's see if we draw the win. We do. Right there. The Bluegill Warrior. There were other potential draws that we could have gotten for the win, but this'll do it. Two damage to the face. Game number one is a victory. Let's go ahead and move on to a second match. And our next game is against a Warlock. I actually don't really like any of this. Maybe hold on to a single Abusive Sergeant. We'll hold on to one of those in case we need to trade up or something. Uh, if we're playing Hand Lock, it is supposed to be a favorable matchup for us. If we're playing Aggro Lock, uh, it's an okay matchup, but... Oh boy, all right. So I think the Leper Gnome will be the best play unless he... I'm actually going to use a coin. I'll tell you why in a second. We're going to use a coin for the Argent Squire because if he Mortal Coils this, this protects his Flame Imp. Because we're facing aggro, I want to also focus on his board. I don't just want to go to his face. So. Okay, now we can eliminate both of his creatures. This is this is perfect for us. He has more th p potential threat, uh, potential damage on the board, but uh, we can get rid of that now, just like this. So that's perfect for us. And we still have now two creatures in play. He takes two damage from the leper gnome there. He's down to 25. We've got these bad boys now. A 1-1 one, one, and a 2-1. Next turn, as of now, looks like it will just be a reinforce. The light protects He's gonna play an Archon Squire of his own. I'm just gonna go for his face. We're gonna ignore that. There's a Consecrate. Oh boy, we are getting the draws. We are getting the draws that we want. That is for certain. So we've got the Avenging Wrath. That is gonna help tremendously in clearing his board. Uh, he will be likely going for my 2-1 with that 1-1 unless he's got some sort of pump up for it. There it is, Dark Dark Dwarf. Is he gonna go for my face? Yes, he will. Now, do I drop the Consecrate now, or do I just attack it? I'm gonna hold on to the Consecrate. I'm just gonna attack it in the face. Also gonna hold on to my creatures. So, yeah. I think it's worth holding on to the Consecrate, because the Consecrate doesn't kill his 4-4, but the Consecrate is likely to kill some of his other minions that he'll probably be playing coming up here. We've got six damage from the Jenkins. Uh, we might be able to set up for a kill very soon, actually. We might be able to set up for a kill very, very soon. Between Avenging Rat. Okay. Oh, shoot. That stinks. Alright, so we've got four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. This is not looking good for you. So there's his board. The light. Unless he plays some big taunt coming up, uh, we should have this. For justice. Pretty much in the bag. We've got the Leroy Jenkins and or Avenging Wrath, uh, either of which will kill him. Now, does he play any taunts right now that will halt progression of Leroy Jenkins to the progression? <laughs> halt an attack from Leroy Jenkins to his face. That's the question. That is the question of the day. With no taunts, it is the loss. With a taunt, he still may very well lose to Avenging Wrath. We can clear some of his minions with our minions in play. Let's see what he's got here. I mean, Defender of Argus would give him a 2-2. Oh, there's a Leroy. That's not... That's not... Yeah, that's not the ticket. Why... Oh. 
What else do you have? He must just, I don't know why he would, doesn't really matter. <laughs> just stop questioning it. Stop questioning it. Attack to the face. Win game number two. Well played yourself, well played. sir. That's the second match. Let's move on to a third game. And our last matchup for today will be against a Control Shaman. This is supposed to be a tough game for us. I, I'm assuming it's Control Shaman anyways. Because that's what most Shamans that I see nowadays are. Uh, given our opponent, we're going to hold on to this hand. Consecration will be nice for Totem Clearing. Uh, the Iron Beak Owl for his terrifying early game taunts that he could play. The light protects me. It's just not a great... It's not a fantastic matchup for us, so... I'd be very interested to see how this game unfolds. And Bombay Mix. Guy likes his liquor. Okay, let's just go... With this. Swing on over. Next turn, if we don't have any other play, I might just throw down the Bluegill Warrior. Yeah, we'll throw down the warrior so we can kill that. I'm gonna try to keep his totems low. Ooh, this is nice, actually. All right. Okay, I can dig it. This is a pretty decent start for us. And what is, once again, supposed to be a not a great matchup. An Earth Shock will be fantastic for him. He has them in the deck, because what Shaman deck doesn't? Silence is invaluable pretty much no matter what style of uh, shaman you're running. There's the feral spirits though. Ooh. Well, I've got an answer for that without losing. Oh no, here's the earth shock. <laughs> oh, that's sad. All right. Um, that makes me sad. Boo, boo, boo. Right, well, we actually kind of want to consecrate right here. We throw away both our creatures if we do. I could equality. We still throw away both of our creatures, so I might as well save the equality. So I guess we're just gonna consecrate. So this is where things start to get tough. Just throwing down those feral spirits, that earth shock again ruined our day. And now we've lost our momentum. I mean, he is at lower health than us, but he's got card advantage. We don't have a lot coming up here. There's this taunt, which my true silver champion, no, actually my true silver champion won't eat that. I, I would ideally want his the true silver champion to go for his face, unless he plays some creature that I need to kill with it. Because that four damage is really nice. There's a chill win yeti. I'm actually gonna ignore that. I could have quality kill it though. Instead of him killing the 3 1, it's actually a good idea, I think. It's a quality kill it. And then let's go to the face, because we're getting him within danger range between Avenging Wrath and Leroy Jenkins. We've got 4, 5, 6, 7 damage just in play here for next turn. So I went with the equality there, number one, because we have a second equality. Oh, there's the acidic swamp is. That's all very painful. Let's see here. It's all very painful. Can't believe that second feral spirit, man. <laughs> Can't believe it. Ugh, man. And now at this point, I mean, if he throws down his 5-8 taunt, that's pretty much, like, sort of a nail in the coffin for us. If he hits me in the I'm actually fine with him hitting me in the face. Reporting for duty. One shot. The battle! Uh, coming up, probably we're gonna see a lightning storm from him. So between the feral spirits and the lightning storm, uh, Earth Shock ruining the day of our pumped up minions. Those are some of the reasons why this this is a tough matchup for us. He's still got plenty of mana, so oh, actually, probably he's not gonna lightning storm because he would have oh, the noble sacrifice is nice for us actually. Keep going for his face here. 
And we haven't lost yet, but I don't know. There's so many cards he could pull out right now that will just completely ruin our day. Goes for the face, eats the two from the sacrifice. So we could kill that next turn. But I really, I mean, he's so low at this point. Our only chance of winning is to continue to zerk him down. So I don't know that I can throw those away. Ugh, that sucks. Going for my face too, okay. It's the Hammer of Wrath, let's do that first to his face. There's Divine Favor. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. This is unbelievable. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think I need to kill that, actually. The battle. The battle. If he doesn't Lightning Storm, we could win next turn. He has to have it, though. There's no way he doesn't. Well, we can still win next turn with Leroy Avenging Wrath, but it's not... Avenging Wrath is so random that it's not guaranteed. Oh, he might even win right now with a Bloodlust, though. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's got the game right here. Oh, we were a turn away. We were a turn away. But just look at this damage here. Unreal. Uh, well, you know what? I'm not salty about this game because this was actually... We were close to winning, so... That's okay. All right. Well, we did have an unfortunate loss right there at the end. I still think that was pretty good. We had two, two solid wins. And that last game was actually really close. Like, we we almost, one more turn and we would have won. So, that just, that burst damage, man, that shamans are capable of. Kind of crazy. All right, that's going to do it for this gameplay video. Taking a look at the Shockadin deck by Holy Rock. Uh, take a look at the Spotlight video. We go over the deck list. There's also going to be links to the, the deck guide that I took a look at. So, give that a look. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you have a fantastic day. Keep watching and keep owning.